Okay, I'm going to show you another precedence table uh, and uh, a pre I'm going to make a precedence network to go with it. Um, but this one's going to require some dummy links and I'm going to show you what they are as well. Now to start with, I'm going to have a bit of a look at the table over here. I can see that A leads to D. So if I put an A on here, yep, A up there, and uh, that's going to lead to D. So I'll put a D on there as well. Like so, change that. What else do we have? I have got a C that leads to an E. So let's see if I put, uh, put that up there and call that one C, make it a bit smaller. Do, 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 do. Oh, not too small. And I might need to change that. My work here is going to be a bit lumpy because it's harder than, than drawing it. Uh, let's say that was B. All right, next I've got um, C goes to E. So E's got to be over here somewhere as well. Um, B and D lead to F. Ah, so I've actually got to change this to make that go... <laughs> go down here because B and D work together to make F. So that'd be F there. B and D are prerequisites for F. Okay, got that. F is a prerequisite for G, so I can have G following on from that. Put that over there. And what next? I've got A, B, where's C? Okay, C is required for E, and E is required for H. H is going to be down there somewhere. All right, so I need to make one. This is going to become C. I'll just have to adjust it, make it a bit longer, change that point there. Oh, this is the hard way to do it, I swear. Okay, so make that C. C goes to E. Okay, so I need another one. And how am I going to do that one? I might uh, just make another one of them. Bring that over here. Do some adjusting here. Just to, I don't know, amuse yourselves while I do this for a moment. And then bring that over that way. Bring that over that way. All right. So let's see, where does C go? Uh, C goes to E, and E goes to H. What else goes to H? F goes to H. Ooh, ready. Okay, so E goes to H, and F goes to H. I see what I have to do here. I have to get this and shrink it and get that and bring that down here. This is the hard way of doing things, okay. I'm sure you've got better things to do with your time. Here we go. All right, so C went to E. E is there. E goes to H, so I need an H there. Control copy, paste that, turn it over. Yep. Oh, that's really silly. That doesn't work, does it? Control Z. Mm, maybe if I flip it that way. Yeah, that'll do. Um, turn that over. Weep. Okay, this is going to become H. Let's bring it up here. H. So we've got um, E goes to H and F goes to H, and H and G go to I. So I'm gonna shorten this down, and I'm gonna put another one here, Try copy V, and put that over there, and that's I. Wow, talk about doing it the hard way. All right, so um, let's see, that looks mostly right, but I do have a problem with this. E and F both go into H, and that's right, they both do come in here. 
but they're also both coming into G, and G only has F as a prerequisite, it doesn't have E as a prerequisite. So I need to adjust this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this and I'm going to do my awkward uh, adjusting here at those points, move that up like that, and move that up like that, and move that up like so. And then this one I'm going to bring up as well, um, bink, edit, bring that up there. Okay, so E is going on to H like it should. F, I somehow have to show that F is leading into H as well, um, but without showing that E leads into G. So I put in something called a dummy link, and I'll do that with another arrow, but my arrow needs to be a dotted line. So I'll just change that to a dashed line. Okay, that dummy link shows the flow of activity from F into H. H requires F but it doesn't show a connection between E and G. You already know that a precedence network like this often has times associated with it. In the case of a dummy link, it has a time of zero, so you don't actually count it towards anything. But if the critical path was A, D, F, H, I, that could be the critical path, you'd add together A, D, F, H, and I, and that would just be a zero in there as well. Um, so, what you might need to do the first few times you do these is do what I did and actually create one that looks almost right and then work out where the problem is and work out how you can separate it so that you've got uh, a dotted line through there. Now the answer in the back of the book again will look very different to what mine does here. Um, mine is quite, uh, I guess organic is the most charitable thing I could say about it. Um, but it doesn't really matter how it looks as long as it's representing the flow of um, of the procedure from one end to the other.